Hello, I'm Tracy Diane. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it and want to see more. And press the up button and drop down button, uh, whether you like it or not. And uh, today I'm going to talk to you about acceptance. Um, for starters, when I was, I, I am one of the first generation of children who watched Sesame Street. And I, I was like four years old when it started. And I remember uh, a teacher named Bob. He had this little segment uh, and he had uh, had the, a segment with uh, Kermit the Frog. And he had the segment for quite some time. And, and through his segment, they introduced, uh, or he introduced Sesame Street with Big Bird and uh, uh, Oscar the Grouch and Bert and Ernie and uh, Susan and uh, Gordon. And, uh, and it was just, just this little street uh, and with all these great people, teachers, and uh, all, the, all these puppets. That, it was a great show. But anyway, one thing I noticed about the show is that it was always, as long as I can remember, multi-race. And that's something it was never talked about. Uh, race was at all, was never, ever talked about. It was never an issue. Nobody pointed it out. Nobody. It, it was nobody uh, made a deal out of it at all. You just watch the show. You, see, you notice the difference of other people, but you cut. You learn to accept it and still enjoy the show, regardless the difference in, in other people. And you just accept it. You just accept what uh, the other, the difference in other people. And um, like I said, the, um, race was never a big deal on the show. And it makes me think, uh, come to realize that children are born uh, to accept. It's a natural, it's just natural. And uh, they don't judge. Race is not an issue or never a big deal. As, uh, but as they get older, uh, our adult, the adults in their lives are the ones that teach them the difference in other people, and they make the uh, they make it as a big deal. Um, but while their kids are uh, are little, they are being groomed um, to fear uh, to fear, and it starts off with uh, kids are develop this insecurity about themselves that's from not knowing who they are and they also have fear you know like where uh, if you're a good girl you get a reward you go to heaven uh, you know like you get a cookie or something and if you're a bad person You'll, you'll get punished. You, you could get spanked. You get something taken away from you. You, uh, you could go to hell. Uh, and, and that kind of uh, punish, that kind of thing teaches kids to fear. And 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 through all this, the parents kind of mold them to. In such a way um, 
that it it takes away the their natural ability to accept. And of course, like like they, with fear, uh, when when put fear into other to kids or, or people, it's easy to manipulate anyone to do whatever they want uh, other people want well, if a parents if a parents put fear in the kids it's easy for the parents to manipulate the kids into whatever they want them to do and and they and whether it's good good or right good or wrong it, it, it all depends on what the parents Think, but but like I said, it's to accept is a natural ability, and um and since we are born to be accepting, uh, therefore is very easy. And life is much better. It's more life is more productive. People are happier, and it 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 brings people in a good place. But when you're in a position to, um, in a hateful way, uh, hate it seems to be. Um, it takes a lot more effort, a lot, lots of energy, to put out there. It's a lot of hard work. If you ever really watch people, in t on news or something, or see somebody who's hateful, they put a lot of power into that, that, that moment. It's, they cannot think of anything else besides while they're in this hateful situation. And like I said, it's not productive. It's, uh, there's nothing good at it that comes from it. They're always never seem to be happy. They're always miserable. And they're the type of people that will, uh, will, well, they love, uh, to make other people miserable because they don't like they don't like the feeling that they're in a wrong position. Let's put it that way. So they have to put everybody else down in order to feel feel justified for for being in a hateful position. Um, and. Um, for those who are miserable or in a hateful position, I think you will feel much better if you just let go of the drama and let go of any anger or hate that you may have and try to bring peace into your heart, into your heart. And, and I, 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 I promise you life will get so much better for you and for everybody else around you. And I wish you peace, peace and happiness and have a good day, bye.